That was like a little bird in an eggshell. I could not break my shell when I saw all the other birds breaking out of their shells. I waved my fist to try to break free from this round, narrow world. But in my shell, they get broken by others. I was now in the frying pan. I know my father loves me, but I don't accept the way he loves me. He was extremely controlling of me. And growing up, I hardly ever made decision about my own affairs. The odds were that anything I thought I would not be to his satisfaction. For as long as I can remember, I don't remember him even giving me the opportunity to make my own decisions and trial and error. And he did a lot of things all by himself. At the beginning, when I was interested in fighting, he said he was willing to sponsor my interests. And I was happy to finally have a chance to have a common topic with my father as well. Since I was also interested in fighting, our class he would watch from the sidelines and take notes for me with his phone. However, after I took a few basic classes, the gym coach changed and a new coach came in, who was a boxing champion in Sichuan province. I was so excited to be taught by a champion, and my father was excited because he thought a master could get the most out of me through real combat. And I just, I have had just five taking five classes at that time. I knew that at my level, I would be beaten badly against the instructor. I thought that playing live matches without a solid foundation was blind and, uh, and would not allow me to grow and would even have the opposite of effect. I told him my considerations and he said I didn't understand that and that it was most useful to stick to the actual fight. Hearing that, he was not respecting my opinion again. I made a habit of not speaking. The coach politely refused my father's request at first, but my father insisted that coach uh, play with me in the real battle. In order to convince the coach, he bragged about how well I practiced and told, me, told the coach not to underestimate me. With my father's relentless bragging and motivation, the coach decided to give me some credit and then let my father take back his arrogance. He was just a layman too, but he was still directing from the sidelines. And I had to pay for his bragging because I was his son. At first, I thought they was it was a price I paid for not being able to speak up for, for myself. But afterwards, I knew it was useless to communicate with him. He likes to brag about me in front of outsiders and make people uncomfortable. Which brings me to a recent event. This summer, I chose to fly back to my home country by his arrangement. He found a female classmate to travel with me in the back. I was a damn then about stifling any budding relationship I had at before college. But now he desperately wants me to fall in love. So he started his bragging to the female classmate who didn't even know know me and send my personal photos to her without permission. If that girl hadn't told me, I would have known I wouldn't have known that I didn't have any privacy with him. When I suppressed my emotions and when to confront him, he even told me that he didn't have it, uh, I didn't have a lot of experience in life and that it was called psychology. I feel devastated. But the truth is, again, I couldn't find a way to shout out what he was offering me. If a bird is to be born, it has to break his eggshell. But the kickboxing seems to me as if each of my punches have had hit a piece of relentless cotton. It carried my pain powerlessly, a bondage I could not break at a trap I could only sink into.
，双手，把把头扶住。停停停停停停停停停停停停停停停停停停停停停停停停停停停停停停停停停停停停停停停停停停停停停停停停停停停停停停停停停停停停停停停停停停停停停停停停停停停停停停停停停停停停停停停停停停停停